Starting things off in a Class A rematch from last season, Omaha Westside looking for revenge against Gretna. Oklahoma State QB commit Zane Flores facing off against D1 recruit Kayla Benning coming back from injury. First drive of the game for the Warriors. Anthony Rizak, 31-yard touchdown run for a quick and easy 7-0 Omaha Westside. Dragons answer, Flores finds Tyson Boganowski for a 52-yard touchdown. Tied at 7, already looking completely different from last season. Later, first, Warriors now up 14-7. Benning picks off the Flores pass. Takes it all the way to the four-yard line. Leads to a Rezac touchdown pass, 21-7 west side. Still first now, 21-14 Warriors. Rezac deep to Keenan Cotton, 64-yard touchdown, 28-14 west side. Late first half, Warriors up 31-14. Flores to Ethan Sturr, a three-yard touchdown. Dragons down 31-21, heading into the half. Third quarter, west side kicker Tristan Alvano, 50-yard field goal is good. Would have been good from 60. And this one down to the wire with Gretna leading 41 to 40 with just 30 seconds remaining. We'll have that final score online on our website. In Howells Dodge going for back-to-back -back state titles in Class D2. After Hitchcock County scored first, HD responds. Lance Breister sprints in for the touchdown. He had over 100 rushing yards in the first half alone. The Jaguars then took the lead before the break. Justin Bayer gets the handoff this time to go up 12 to 8. But the Falcons took control in the second half. Gaston turning to an aerial attack. Trent Kisker has his man beat for the 45-yard touchdown would be the go-ahead score. Meanwhile, their defense shut down the Jags. A fumble recovery and a pair of fourth down stops kept Howell's Dodge out of the end zone for the final 24 minutes. As the Jags' 25-game winning streak comes to an end, 22-12 in the Class D2 championship game.